Hey everyone, welcome back to our garden. Today we are outside in our front yard yet again. Uh, last time we saw you guys, we were overseeding our lawn and it is coming up beautifully. Um, there's definitely some patches where we might wanna come back and throw down some more seed. Uh, we did have Hurricane Ian come through right after with some really torrential downpours and I think it washed some of the seed into groups. But we are looking much better than what we started with, so we are very pleased with it. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Uh, we are going to tackle our front flower beds for the fall, finally. If you have been following our channel for a while, you saw us plant some supertunias up here back in April. So we planted Supertunia Vista Jazzberry and Mini Vista Indigo. Um, and we do still have some color here, surprisingly, um, but you can see here especially, um, they are starting to go. This is what they typically start to look like for us in the ground at least uh, this time of year. They have just been beaten down by the hot, hot sun um, in August and September. Um, and being here at the front, they get beat down with really hot afternoon sun. Um, so it is their time to go but we are always pleased with how long the supertunias last because we planted them in April. So that is nearly six months of use and beauty out of this plant. Um, and you'll notice that they are still flowering a bit and petunias are actually more of a cool season plant than we really give them credit for, which is why you're seeing this kind of new flush of blooms come out if you've got petunias in your yard. Um, but to say the least, they uh, need to go. It is time to get something fresh in here and beautiful for the fall. Um, and you know, after six months, you probably want to see something different anyway. Um, so I say all that to say, if you're on the fence about whether annuals are worth the investment, they definitely are. If you plant them early enough, you're gonna get a long lifespan out of them. Um, so we've got the supertunias up here. We did also plant some lantana. I think this one is called Pina Colada. Um, and you know, we had a few other lantanas in the back um, that did beautifully and they bloomed profusely all summer long. Um, but this one took a long time to get going and it's starting to bloom now. Uh, but this is also an annual, it is not a perennial lantana for us here in our zone. So we're gonna be pulling that as well. And we may even come along and trim up some of the boxwoods. They are really woolly right now. Um, but we, we have to wait until we get through that hot summer heat before we can do any trimming on our boxwoods. Otherwise, uh, we run the risk of burning them. Um, and then we also want to get them cut and allow them to kind of heal before we get into the cold winter months because then you'll run into issues as well. Um, so we're going to do a full revamp of this area today and make it beautiful for fall. Uh, we're going to start with pulling everything out and then we'll come back and show you what we're planting. But I did want to point out um, another thing. So we planted caladiums in our hanging baskets up here um, and they are looking a little ratty. And Brian was like, we have to take those down before we start filming. But I wanted to show you guys the reality of what your garden might start to look like this time of year. This is totally normal. Caladiums do not like the cool temperatures. Um, they, you're seeing more of a reaction in baskets and containers probably because they are not protect, protected underneath by the earth, um, but they will start to wilt and droop immediately. Now, for us in zone uh, eight, well, that feels weird to say. We used to be zone seven B, now we're zone eight. Uh, but for here in zone eight, caladiums are an annual. You can dig them very similarly to dahlias and store them over the winter and replant them. Uh, but I think that we're just gonna compost these and get some new ones in the spring. Uh, so with that, why don't we get to work pulling all of this stuff and then we'll come back and show you the beautiful new flowers we have.
All right, we got all of the supertunias pulled. We got the boxwoods trimmed up. We got the lantana pulled. Um, and I do have to say, now I know why the lantana was not blooming because those freaking plants were so rooted in. I had to get Brian help, help, to help me pull some of them out. Um, and one of the roots, look, it was planted here and it came all the way over here <laughs> on this side. So obviously beast of a plants and I bet you if we left those they would have come back. But we just were not loving them in line with the boxwoods um, up here at the front. We like more formality and more uh, clean lines and space um, and a little bit more of a modern touch. And the lantana in line with the boxwoods was just kind of not working well for what we were going for up here. Um, so we opted to pull it and it just looks so much cleaner. Oh my gosh, like I, there is a time and place for the wild summer garden, but there's also something about fall cleanup that I really love. Um, and it just feels so good to be outside, so we love this time of year. Um, now let's get to what's behind me, because I'm sure you've been distracted this whole time. Here is what we were planting in our flower beds in place of the supertunias. So these are violas. We've got three different colors here, and we've got right at 100. So uh, Brian's back is going to be sore tomorrow. I'm sure that my knees will be sore from uh, planting all of these. But we like to plant them densely so that throughout the winter they just kind of grow together and become one big mass of color. So I want to point out um, the difference between violas and pansies because those are the two annuals that we tend to see this time of year um, go in the ground, go in containers. Um, so we have never grown violas in the ground before. We have always done pansies. And when you grow pansies, you get less flowers, but you get a bigger flower. So it's kind of as that big, uh, nice, impactful flower. Um, they come in a range of colors, but pansies tend to go dormant for December, a little bit of January for us. Um, and I know some of our northern folks can't even have pansies winter over. Um, so we're lucky that we can get the pansies to winter over and they do start to bloom again once we get to February. Um, they do tend to, however, flop, so they aren't standing as upright as maybe you would like. Um, violas, on the other hand, as you can see, are much smaller flowers, but there are more flowers per plant. So you get a little bit more dense uh, color impact in your garden, um, and these tend to stay more upright. Um, from the research we have done, what we've heard people using them, they don't tend to go dormant. They just kind of keep on producing flowers. Um, and that's what we would like to see up here at our front entrance. Okay, let's bring you guys in closer to take a look at the colors um, so you can really get an idea of what we're going to be planting. So this first one here is called Penny Deep Purple. And it has a really dark, almost black uh, whisker to it, if you will, and a yellow center. And then we have this one on this side, which does not have a tag in it, but is really pretty and unique. It's uh, almost like a periwinkle, light blue. We've got some different color variation in the middle. And then up here, we have Color Max Clear Yellow. Um, and the blooms on this one seem to be a little bit bigger, um, but they are really striking. Um, and I know, oh, and we also have Silver Dust Dusty Miller, which has that kind of like lamb's ear effect almost to it. Um, and now I know that these colors that we chose are um, not as fall as you may uh, imagine. A lot of times we think like burgundy and orange. Um, and because we do this because the violas and pansies last so long here in our climate, they make it all the way to spring. Um, and so these are kind of colors that we can take for now and they will last us through to spring um, when we will also have tulips coming up up here so we're thinking forward and thinking okay what will look nice with the tulips as well and once we get to march you know what it still won't look like fall up here um, so we've never grown violas up here before but i think these are going to do really well we always see violas around town and they are just really dense and really showy in terms of color um, and from the street, I think this is going to be really, really striking. So let me show you guys how I normally lay out my pattern. I usually do three rows in front of the boxwoods, and I know that sounds tight, but that's our goal here. We're going for really dense color. Um, so I am going to get three 
of this blue color here. And I'm gonna go over here. Oh, this one doesn't have any blooms on it. Let me get one that looks pretty. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna place the first one here just to the right of this boxwood. Now the next one that I'm gonna do is going to go down here on my second row in the middle. And then the other one is going to create my front row down here just on the inside of this boxwood. And you'll see where I'm going with this in just a second. Okay, so let's go for yellow next. And we'll come right over here. So now I'm gonna place this one here in the window. And then I'll do another one here. Do you see where I'm going? So we're kind of making, this is my back row. This is my middle row. And if I continued on with the yellow, I would put one here on my front row. So we're almost making diagonal lines with the color. Um, but once we have all of the colors in place, it's gonna just look like a beautiful pattern, um, a mixed array of colors all the way down. Um, and I'll do this all the way this way, and then when I get to the other side, I will switch the diagonal so they are going this way. So we're kind of presenting to the front steps, if you will. Um, and then I will work the Dusty Miller in as it fits into our pattern, um, and then we'll show you what it looks like at the end. So let's get started. got about 20 violas in the ground and then the drill literally fell apart. Never had this happen before. Um, DeWalt stuff is really great usually so I'm not sure what happened. Uh, Brian is trying to get us a replacement but somehow we got to finish planting all of these pansies. Or I'm sorry, violas. <sighs> Send help. We might be doing this by hand. guys we are done getting the violas in the ground that ended up taking way longer than it should have since yeah. our drill broke um i don't know what happened it just seemed to like fall apart and of course the camera wasn't going at that point yeah i wish we had caught that on film yeah and of course we had like i don't know 75 uh <laughs> violas left yeah. to plant at we that had point. just gotten started <laughs> but oh well we used um this sweetheart trowel from gardener supply i don't even know if that's the right name um, but that's what I call it. I love it, that. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes me happy. Um, but I'll link it in the description below. Honestly, it made everything go so much faster because it is a little bit wider. Um, so this saved the day today. Uh, but normally that would have taken us maybe 15, 20 minutes with the power planter and yeah. the drill. But, you know, it was kind of nice. We were both saying that sometimes planting feels chaotic because yep. we just go so fast with the drill and it was like, 
It was very calming and zen. It was very quiet out here. We might not feel that way tomorrow morning, <laughs> but today it was really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it inspired you to get outside and get some fall chores done in your garden. Um, we have a few more things coming up. We're gonna be doing some fall containers. Um, and of course, you know, the dreaded leaf collection is gonna start <laughs> soon. Yep, this is just the start. Yes, so I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.